What's up YouTube and welcome to part 2 of Hopeless Rescue. Last time, we scavenged the key points of interest along the rail line in Mystery Lake. We made our way through the ravine and found shelter in a random trailer in the hills of Coastal Highway. Today, we'll continue on our journey through Coastal Highway, the mine Pleasant Valley, aiming for the summit of Timberwolf Mountain to locate a flare gun. I hope you enjoy the video, if you do, hit that like button, and with the intro out of the way, let's get started. Good morning everybody, and welcome back to part two of Hopeless Rescue. Let me uh, go back through the inventory here real quick and just kind of see what we're working with. Uh, Food-wise, we are pretty good. I'm going to try to eat and drink quick before we get to it. Food poisoning, perfect. Let me look at what we need for that. I was wondering when I was going to get some food poisoning. Uh, what do we need to do? Food poisoning. So two antibiotics or a reishi. And then we need 10 hours to recover. So we do have reishi. And we do have antibiotics. Let's go ahead and take those. Uh, that should do it, right? Or do I got to take it twice in a row? No, it just takes the two. Okay. So we'll be weakened until we treat it passes or we die. I think we're good. As long as I took that, I think now we just need 10 hours to go by. And uh, we should be good to go. I'm going to eat some more. We might as well eat all the crappy food, right? Because we already have food poisoning. I don't think we can get it twice. We'll eat the pork and beans. And uh, let's drink up on some water. And uh, I think we're going to get out of here. We are in Coastal Highway. Now, in between parts, I did pull up uh, the Coastal Highway map to kind of make sure I know where to head. Um, or just a general sense, an idea of where to go. Um, you know, if there's a cave or whatnot on how to get to Pleasant Valley. Time-wise, we still have five days. Um, I think I said in the last episode, we only have five days total. Obviously, uh, it's actually seven. So, made that mistake there. But, it's a little cold today. Uh, I don't know exactly where to go. I know that the... The way to get to Timberwolf Mountain, or to Pleasant Valley, is up, like, in the upper area here. If we follow the road down by the water, um, it leads us... The road, basically, the coastal highway here... I hear walking. <laughs> the coastal highway here uh, follows down this road and path here, and then once you get to the water, it's going to go down all the way around the lake and then back around to the tail end and i believe that's rumbling highway so we want to stay kind of up in the mountains here that's how we get to pleasant valley and how we get to um and then pleasant valley leads us to timberwolf mountain So I'm kind of just hugging the mountains here, just kind of looking around to see where we go, because I don't want to venture too far. Um, I don't think the... I just gazed br briefly, so I don't think that the area we're looking for is like off the road necessarily, but I'm going to kind of just hug this outside area, see if we can find it, um, and kind of get make our way... We want to make our way to Pleasant Valley today. And possibly even Timberwolf Mountain. Um, to try to find that flare gun. There is a cabin over here. I feel like I hear footsteps. I don't know if they're rabbits or what. But. Uh, is that um a corpse? It appears so. He's got a crowbar. What's up, Dennis? 
Got nothing. We already have a crowbar. Um, if I remember correctly. Yep, we got a crowbar, so we're good. We'll leave that there. I will check out this cabin, though. Just see if there's anything of note inside. Now, something I'm not sure of is if, in this challenge, if there are any other flare guns. And if there were, could we get a flare gun early and then take that to Desolation's Point? Or... I don't need that. Or is it a specific flare gun we need from Timberwolf Mountain? Is there anything in this metal container? Ooh, some thermal underwear. I don't think we have two pairs of that. Perfect. We're getting warmer every day. And there's another flare here and some more matches. A coffee maker. Very cool. Um, there's a drawer over here with some more matches, all right, and a revolver cartridge. We'll take that. We do have a revolver on us. Just doing one more little once over in the cabin here, and uh, we're going to head outside. So the weather's holding out pretty well. Um, I think we'll probably pick up a couple sticks. Try to keep some firewood on us. So we can start a fire if we need to. I have a bunch of teas. And they're cold right now. But we can still get them heated up. Help keep us warm in the future. But right now. Uh, the weather's not too terrible. The temperature's not too terrible. We're doing all right. We do want to be careful with wolves and breaking our ankles. Um, but we do want to be careful with wolves We since we do have the food poisoning. Um, since we do have the food poisoning, uh, we are definitely more susceptible to being attacked. With that all bandaged up, we'll head over this bridge and, like I said, gonna kind of hug the mountain here and try to find the entrance to Pleasant Valley. What is this? Oh, that's a log? Okay. There is a corpse down there, and I, I'm kind of familiar, or I've gotten more familiar with the roadway. So I'm trying to see if there's any buildings I recognize to kind of give me an idea of where we are. Uh, let me see if I can get over here and uh, see kind of where we are. Mm. I don't see any buildings yet. I recognize off in the fog there is like... Um, Something, I can't, I don't even know what you'd call it, but kind of like a, a pillar uh, that's out in the ocean. I recognize that a little bit. But I don't see any of the buildings that I'm, I'm familiar with. The fisherman's hut, that like little area with the, um, with the workbench that's outside. I don't see that yet. I would actually like to search that workbench if we can. See if there's a hatchet or um, maybe a a hacksaw. I don't know if we need the hacksaw, actually. It actually looks like we're headed towards the, the power lines. I think we're going... We're, yeah, we're obviously going downhill. Is that where we just came from? I feel like that might be where we just came from. Kind of feeling like maybe it's not where we came from. That looks like a path. Um, let me search this building since we're all the, we're all the way down here right now. And then I might try to walk back up there. 
Check both ways, crossing the street. I hear noises. The log sort. What's inside? Anything? I don't think I'm... I'm not familiar with this building. Nothing in the cabinet. Uh, anything of interest? We got the plastic container. Nope. Table. Chairs. I see the soda. Let's uh, try to drink a couple of those. Since we're sitting here anyways. There's another cooking pot on the stove. Uh, I don't think we need one. But it's good to know because I wouldn't mind collecting some on a future run, like maybe an interloper run. Uh, we'll take the herbal tea. Some more peaches. The purification tablets. I guess I'll take them. More tea. And more matches. It's insane how much, how many matches you find on the or uh, the easier difficulties. Nothing in the cabinets. Anything in the microwave. Oh, a herbal tea. Makes sense. I just found like like two boxes of it. Uh, that can stay. I don't feel like cooking it. Take the peaches. A can opener would be nice to find because then we could find we could get the full amount of the food from the cans, like our canned food, all the pinnacle pizzas, peaches. We wouldn't lose any. Uh, another flare. I'm good. We have so many flares. I'm gonna check upstairs though. This is a nice little house. Granola bar. I don't need the socks. I wouldn't mind living here. Uh, improvised knife. Cool. I think we might have a knife. Decent jeans. I'll check if they're better than what we have. I think we're tired also because we're, we, we have the food poison. The food poisoning. Uh, let's see. We still have the food poisoning. We're good on that. Recovery time, 10 hours. So we are just going to lose condition until we sleep it off. Hmm. That might change our plans for what we do. I don't really want to hang out here. But a quick sleep wouldn't hurt. It's midday, though. I'm going to push it and see if we can, we have a bedroll. We could sleep in the bedroll once needed or once we get to like a cave or, or wherever, um, we could, we could do that. Let me see here. I'm going to try to eat. I'm going to eat like everything I can. Since our condition's already low, let's just eat and drink and just stock up. Uh, we'll eat this too. I got a lot of soda. Eat that. And we'll drink this. Yeah, we're stocked up on food and drink. We're good. Let's get out of here. I'm still su well. I'm not that heavy actually. I'm just I'm uh, encumbered because I'm tired. Can't go anywhere. Our condition's dropping slightly. I'm gonna go back up this hill and just see where those crows are because I don't feel like they were near where we just came from. Like, I don't think it's the same ones that were over Dennis. And I guess it could be.
Man, going this slow though, it's really making me want to go back and sleep. I can't tell if the if straight ahead is a path or if it's just like if it's just steep snow. We're going to find out though. Trying I think yeah, I really do think that actually is Dennis with the crowbar. that bent tree is that a sign of like somewhere to go no that's Dennis over there I think thought I saw something sneaking up on the side here yeah I think I can go up this way we're gonna check it out we're gonna crawl our way up there the snail's pace but we'll get there It is rough out here, though, with with uh, no no energy. I wonder if I could drink a coffee and it would help. Uh, the drink coffee. Let's try it. Is it gonna offset our tiredness? Yeah, a little bit. All right. Our fatigue. That's a better term. Yeah, it is, Dennis. Well, oh, I'm glad I came back up here. another soda don't need it always oh, gonna drop that other clothing too but I pick up the jeans yeah I don't need all these there you go those are for you Dennis if you ever reanimate you get some clothes all right we're gonna keep going up this hill And see what's up this way. That was the log mill or something like that. That we came from. And yeah, this does look like a path. So, here's hoping this gets us to Pleasant Valley. Or the transition zone for it. Nope. Alright, well we sprained our wrist. I'm not bandaging. Uh, gonna bandage it up right now. Aha, trailer. That's good. I think this might be the trailer we came from. Oh, I'm putting it together now. I'm remembering from Misery. So when I played Misery, I forgot. For some reason, I spaced on it. But when I played Misery... We came from the Pleasant Valley. Uh, we came from Pleasant Valley and made it over here through the cave. So that's, I don't know why I'm blanking on this, but we came up that other side of the hill there. So we will be going back through there. I just got to find it. But first we'll raid the trailer here because I did spend some time in this trailer when we played Misery. I can't believe I forgot that. Like I spaced on it for a few. Uh, some f firewood, which we don't need. Uh, let's see. Uh, more... Oh, can opener. Thank you. Dog food. What is this? Sweatshirt? We're good. We got plenty of good gear right now. We got plaid shirts galore right now. Um, I would like to get a couple hours sleep. Let's get just two hours, try to rest up. It'll still keep some light, but it'll help reduce the fatigue. And then I think, yeah, we got we need eight hours, so perfect. Um, I'm uh, the pain will go away in a few minutes. How bad's the weather? Eh. 
I'm gonna push it. I think we go up this hill and uh, it'll lead us to that cave. And then once we're inside the cave, I'll feel a lot better about sleeping because, you know, we can navigate the, the cave in the in the dark. And then from there, we're going to head south from the mining camp down towards uh, where Thompson's was. And then I think we were going to want to, instead of going to Thompson's, we're going to want to loop around and head up to, I don't even know where it is. Like it's like a two cars or a three car crash or some crap. And then from there, we'll find the rope to Timberwolf Mountain. We're going to want to be healed up and ready to go for that climb. And then we could take... Uh, once we enter Timberwolf Mountain, we're going to head to the Mountaineering's Hut. And then we can spend a night there or an afternoon or a couple hours recovering if we need to. That's kind of the goal. If we can press to there, we're good. Now, I don't know where the flare gun is in Timberwolf Mountain. I just know it's at the summit. So I got to kind of figure out how to summit the timber, the, how to get to the summit of Timberwolf Mountain in order to get us out of there or to get the flare gun so then we can leave when the weather held out that's nice grab a couple more sticks keep us warm in case we start a fire I, I don't know if there was a fire barrel or not in the mining area but we'll check just just hobbling our way through Can't remember if it was here. Could be. Looks promising. Keep working our way this way. Heading into the mountains is probably accurate, right? Yep, yeah, this is it. Perfect. Okay. Cool, cool. Again, I can't believe I spaced on the fact that we just came out of here uh, when we played when we did Misery not too long ago. So this is perfect. This wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Good call going up by the those crows. If I didn't see those crows, I, I really probably would have missed that whole that whole area. Um, but fortunately for us, they were there. Now I know for next time, like, the hill, if I want to get up here, the hill across from log whatever that was, another crowbar, um, is the way to go. And I don't mind sleeping in here because we got to navigate this in the dark anyways. Another flare. Good. We can just sleep right in here, get our 10 hours of rest. There's a toque, some cloth, some more bullets. What's in the metal container? Anything? Scrap. Don't need it. Uh, there possibly is a bed over here. The porter potty. Coal. More coal. Uh, I can break down the boots. More matches. More matches. Disinfectant. More matches right there. Anything in here? More leather and the wool sweater can stay. The wool sweater can stay. Let's see. Uh, I'm not gonna go. I think we're gonna sleep. Basically cure all of our ail ailments. We can't start a fire in here, nope. All right, so, but we can lay down. We're good good on sleep uh let's go ahead and hit the inventory button and check our condition let's go i'm gonna drink this i'm basically gonna drink all the low condition crap eat all the low condition crap because if we do then it's out of our inventory 
and I'm already curing the food poisoning anyways. Perfect, that nearly filled us up. And let's get some sleep. Hopefully this doesn't kill us. I have a tendency to do that sometimes. Perfect. Everything's healed up. Drink the water. Cool. We're going to probably need to do a new batch of water soon. Pick that up. And then let's go ahead. We got some flares. We have so many matches. Uh, how many flares do we have? We'll use this one. Cool. And uh, let's head over here quick and just grab that uh, replacement basically. All right. And we'll head off. We're gonna head this way. So we're basically gonna follow the cave here. I don't think I need to pick up any coal really. Let's do a quick check on our on our inventory. We're, we're 30 pounds over. And that's a lot of weight. I did not break these down. I don't know if I need to. Some coal would be nice just because... We really want to have some method of an outdoor fire. Um, I just don't know if I want to carry how much stuff I want to carry carrying a lot of food uh, All right, I'll be careful. I don't think I'm gonna take much more coal than that. Oh Is this was this where a bed is or is this just storage? Just storage what is this first aid kit? Painkillers. Zap energy bar. Can leave that. Let me open this back up. Medical. We can get rid of this and we can get rid of these. Don't need them. I'm going to get rid of the. Ah, uh, no, I'll keep them. Because we're going to do some water soon. Don't need any of that. I don't think I need anything in there. I don't want to waste any more time searching. We got plenty of stuff. Basically, I think from here on out, food and water is really just the important stuff. Uh, keep them warm, obviously. And then, and that's it. Like, hey, Dennis, two more flares. We just, we don't need them. Don't need those either. I'll take one because I'll just kind of use flares as we go through this cave um since they're you know the game's giving them to us anyways it's actually hold on not, not that i want to waste any more time but i'm kind of thinking about this in terms of weight and opportunity and i think i would rather take these flares and then we can drop this can and that can but we can also, where are the torches that I had? We could drop these torches. We just don't need them. The flares are all weather. And I can always make more torches if we need them. But there's just no real reason to take the to carry the torches on me when I can have basically an equal number of flares and the flares burn longer so th that's what I'm doing and I just grabbed a bunch more coal on the way uh, I'm just gonna I don't think I'm gonna take any more we're just gonna get out of here uh, look to 
try to beeline it over to Timberwolf Mountain. And at least I, if I do need to start a fire before the climb, I have uh, I have some coal on me now to do so, uh, to to warm up before doing so. Some scrap back there. And we're just going to keep heading this way. And I think they... S yeah, that one splits to the grate. But we can keep heading over here. And then this is near the entrance. So we climb out of here. There's like a broken down way. Yeah, there's a broken down way. And then there's this way here. Keep heading up. And then this is going to go out any second. There it goes. And we'll light another one. Perfect. Cool. There might even be another replacement flare at the front of the entrance stuck on the terrain. We'll see, but basically we're coming up around here, and then we're going up this little hill here, and it takes us to the entrance of the takes us to the entrance of the mine here. And is it nighttime? Yeah, the sun's just coming up. Wonder how cold it is outside. If uh, we should bother walking around. In the dark. I think the accelerant. We'll start using that a little bit more too. I'll take the gloves too. Just because I do want to repair. Our gear. When we, if we get an opportunity to. And we're going to. We're going to need the leather. It's pretty cold. But I think we'll be okay. I also think if we do get ambushed by a wolf even a bear uh we should be we should survive it at least i don't know if it how detrimental it would be to the run you know with us having the amount of time we do to uh to get this done but we wouldn't die immediately like we would on interloper Let's see. Anything around the corner here? No. I'd love to sprint, but I've got like 80 pounds of gear. Coming over the hill. Nothing. Downhill is always a little quicker. Maybe we'll get to see a nice sunrise on our walk. That would be that would be nice. We are cold, but we're doing all right. Just keeping my eyes and ears peeled for any predators. Oops, can't sprint. And then I think once we hit kind of the roadway, we want to head to our right. Left would take us back to Thompson's. I think. I'm kind of judging it back from mystery, not mystery, like from misery mode, where we left Thompson's and I feel like we headed. If you're facing Thompson's, right, you kind of head or. You're facing this way, like Thompson's would have been here, and the roadway's here, and we headed towards our left. And in doing so, I was looking for the two car, or the, whatever, I want to say two car crash or whatever, but it's some, some point of interest, multi car crash or something. I think we can actually look it up real quick, too. What's, uh, points of interest? Where is it? Wait, yeah. No, that's rock caches. 
Um, survey locations. Does it tell us? Select. Oh, it doesn't tell us. Okay. I thought it actually listed them for you. Anyways, we're going to have to figure it out and find it, but I think it is that way. As soon as I can kind of find uh, the roadway. I might ignite one more flare since it is dark. As the sun rises, um, we should be good, but there's wildlife and stuff to contend with here. Maybe we should actually start a fire. Yeah, I think we will. Start a fire quick. Maybe see if we can heat up. Before we venture out a little bit more, there's the road. Can we get this fire started before? Yeah, birch bark. Bye. All right, cool. And then let's add some coal. About three hours. Yeah, I didn't need to do that. Whatever, it'll burn hot. Uh, we can heat up our teas too. And maybe cook half a thing of water. Yep, that's good. And we'll go ahead and, and warm these up. Oh, no, don't drink it. I do that all the time. Place. Place. Right there. Did it again. Well, we'll let all those warm up. And we're warming up, which is great. I'll actually probably drink one of these teas to warm up a little bit faster. Or maybe the coffee. Yeah, like, let's just finish this one off. And we'll turn these off. Whatever we need to do with them. Good there. Let's see what else we have. We re uh, we're good on... Yeah, we don't need to reload that. Cool. Cool. Uh, we can drop this, cut the weight down. Probably start leaving matches too. Uh, let's go ahead and place this. And we'll place this one too, we might as well, right? And that as well. Uh, actually, we could take that and do the the purifier stuff. That in meds, yep, we can use this. Perfect. Oh, I don't want to drop them. Yeah. Take that with us. I think we'll drink that. Can you drink a reishi preemptively? In terms of, uh... The food poisoning? Like, can I drink one if I know I'm going to be eating crappy food? And try to prevent the food poisoning? That's fine, let that burn out. I'm warm. We've got a couple torches. If I need more torches, then... You know, we start another fire. Or, uh, I can use those flares. But we're gonna carry on here. Hopefully, the wind doesn't pick up too much. We're gonna keep following the roadway. 
and uh, I see the power lines there. I'm going to follow those to the right and hopefully come across the car crash, like I said. Sun is rising, so it's another day here. We got plenty of energy. Our stats are good. We're healed up. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Timberwolf Mountain is where it's going to get a little hairy because I don't really know that area. I know the mountain um, hut. I don't know where the summit is. I don't know how to get to the summit. So I'm going to try to follow the roads and hopefully they lead us up there. There's the mine. Cool. Uh, while we're sitting here, let's drink that. Help with our fatigue. And it'll also warm us up. We keep along the road here. The wind sounds like it wants to pick up. A blizzard would be no good because... It just would be no good. <laughs> but let's find out. Let's see. Trying to keep my eyes peeled for any potential hazards. Anything that could slow us down. I'm not seeing anything which is good. Torch is still fine. Where does this go, this road? I probably just walked my way right back to Thompson's, knowing myself. Oh, you know what? I know where I am right now, sort of. Give me a torch. So I did a, um... When I was first working on YouTube, um, I did a, a little... A little story uh, about a character I named Liam it's like the first video on my channel and uh, it's like Liam woke up in a car and I'm pretty sure this is that car I think I went this way down towards the road and then around could be wrong but this is all looking pretty familiar to me I never actually checked where I was in that in that game. I was still learning like how to do YouTube and talking and writing a story and the microphone and all that stuff. But I'm pretty sure I woke up in that car and I went over here and then there's a collapse and a body. Uh and then I don't think there was any way out of this area, so Kind of wasting some time, but we're going down memory lane, you know? Yeah, this this is exactly that spot. And there's that body. That's all caved in. What's up, Dennis? End of the road, yep. What do you have? MRE, cool. Yeah, there's nothing there. Wind's picking up. Hopefully it holds off. There's like another house though that we can get to. Alright, we can put this away. We have the, the flares if we need them. So if we see a, a wolf, we're good. I love the watching the clouds go by though. And I love that they're like really quick. Yeah, so I woke up in this car and then we end up going this way. And I remember seeing some wolves. And then I oh, it makes sense cuz I did at the end of that video I die and I stumble into uh the farm, like the the barn, one of the barns, 
in the um in the farm area. It's so wild how every game kind of feels like it's it's different, and I never feel like I really understand where the regions are and what they're doing. And then, like, as I'm kind of talking about it with you all, I'm piecing it together, going like, oh, this makes sense now, and oh, this connects over here. And this is what this is like. And I remember feeling like I was in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> in that video and being like where the hell do I go and walking down here and um, seeing these buildings and being like okay and there was wolves and then I jumped down a cliff and ended up going likely that way and uh, I mean look I really wasn't that far from any civilization now now that I know the area I don't know if I'm going the right way. I ha I kind of feel like I'm not. Because I, I don't think the cars are over here. And I'm walking so freaking slow. Can't sprint. This isn't the building that I'm thinking of before we go up the, the mountain to uh, Timberwolf Mountain. Or we climb up the rope. I bet you I, I could probably light a fire in this building, though. Warm up, maybe collect our bearings. I lit a fire right behind that cliff uh, in that Liam video. And actually, while I have some visibility, do I see anywhere that I could... that uh, Any indication of where I am? There's a wolf down there. I feel like I hear footsteps. I'm gonna try to get in this building and light a fire and get out of the wind. And kinda get, see if I can figure out where we are. I hear, I hear stuff in the distance, it feels like. It sounds like, seems like, to me. I can't tell if it's the trees creaking or if it's footsteps in the snow. But I, it's got me slightly on edge. Wouldn't mind going in here and warming up, though. Derelict cabins, okay. There is a stove, which is good. So I will absolutely start a fire. And uh, we'll see what I can do. Drop all of those. Drop all of those. Drop all. Gonna go ahead and light a fire. And I'm gonna try to see if this works again. This one. Right? Is that what it, is that the difference? Yes! That's what I was looking to do. Alright, that was the problem. I was using the wrong the wrong matches before. Uh, two of these and we can warm up we can heat up some food put that down and then let's actually cook this broth we'll warm that up and we can pick all these up before I forget them and then I bet you I can oh, I don't have any charcoal I'm gonna eat this. Uh, 
no, we're good. We'll pick that up. But I will drop all the T's. And we'll drop this one too. And the coffee. Drop everything. Do I want to make more? Probably should. Yeah, let's go ahead and make another coffee, I think. And let's uh, let's put that cooking pot back. And we can cook... Cook these pinnacle peaches. Use them to warm up. Move these out of the way. All right. Uh, let's see. How much time we got on this fire? Got two hours. Four minutes till ready. And let's cook another one, I think. Very good. And these are all good down here. We'll just move them again just to be sure. And where's that coffee I just had? Under food, probably? Yeah. Drop. Cool. And we'll eat this, too. And, uh... Do I want... Let's cook a tomato soup, too. How are we doing on time? Three days? So we got four days left. Oops. Four days left. Let's take this. I got plenty of energy. How much time we got? All right. These are all good. Let's move this out of the way so it doesn't burn. I would feel better if I had more teas. Can't make any. I basically can only make herbal tea, which we'll do. Yeah, we got one, two, six, seven teas going. Yeah, that's probably fine. Let's pass time till that's ready, and let's eat that too. Alright, and then let's pass time till this is ready. Take it with us. Let's cook another tea, and we'll cook another coffee. And then I think we're going to get out of here. We're warmed back up. We're not tired. We're hydrated. We're fed. And these will take the same amount of time. Pick up, and pick that up. Pick that, that these perfect grab another torch and we'll get rid of it grab another torch get rid of it grab another torch jesus can i get one with some condition please that's better and get rid of it perfect and give me one more give me one more good one Is it too windy to have this torch? I'm gonna find out. Mm, it seems to be alright. We're gonna keep along the road here. Oh, what's in here? Eh, I don't care. <laughs> I want to explore, but I also want to keep this moving. I don't want to go in there uh, and pick up another can of Pinnacle Peaches when we don't need it. To get to this point's actually taken longer than I thought it would. Oh, where am I going? Looking at the wrong screen. 
I have a feeling we actually, if we get to Timberwolf Mountain today, uh, that we might call it a part there at the Mountaineer's Hut. It's taken longer than I thought it would be to get through these two regions. There are speedruns for this, and not really a speedrun guy, generally, but I'm kind of intrigued. I might, once I kind of know what I'm doing and if we're successful in doing Desolation's Point, I might watch a couple speedruns and look into it. No, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, we got 97 matches, but I didn't mean to waste one. Interesting. The music is very ominous. Uh, let's grab the flare just to have it on hand in case we do. We have the two marine flares too. I assume Timberwolf Mountain's called Timberwolf Mountain because of the Timberwolves. So we have a couple marine flares. Here are the wolves. They're they're out there. Um, but we have we we have a couple marine flares which are best against the Timberwolves. Uh, they drain the morale the most so I'm gonna try to reserve those in the meantime and we're gonna keep following this little road here till we get to the car accident I wish I could move faster I think I'm I think I'm more bogged down with weight than I need to be. Oh, uh, what time is it? It's only midday. Actually, we got quite a bit of time still. The warming up's expired. Can we Oh, the, uh that tea's warm. Coffees and teas are starting to go down, so yeah, that's cold. Oh, I'm not thirsty. Uh, of course. Would have been nice to stack up on two. Can I eat like some chips, maybe? And now let's try it. Aha! Can't fool me, game. And we're going to keep on keeping on this freaking hill. I can sprint a little bit, try to use it. I just want to keep moving. I feel like I'm running in place. Come on. I see the, the bar ticking back up there for our sprint. And uh, keep up this hill. Let's see. Somewhere around here is maybe a car. Nope. I'm going to keep following the road. I feel like the roads are how you get places. I mean, that, se that to me seems like game design, right? I say it every video I feel like lately, but the 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 colors for the scenery here, like in the sky and everything else, it's just it's such a unique art style. I love it. It's so nice. I, I just there's no other game like it that I can think of. If uh. You know of any that are kind of similar in art style. Anything that brings... Uh, any games you know that bring... That come to mind that are like this one. Let me know, because I would love to play more games with this type of art style. Alright, we're on a bridge. Wind's kicking up. Keep heading this way, down the road. This, I think this is it. 
I feel like I recognize this area. I remember, I feel, I recall this bridge now that I'm thinking about it. And I think there's a cabin here, but I think the cars are right there. And they're kind of like tucked in here too. Yeah, there's a car. And I think we go in where the car is and you go in and then there's another cabin kind of like the derelict one that we were just in. And then basically outside of that is a rope and you climb the rope up to the mountain and that's going to bring us up to Timberwolf Mountain. Yeah, this is the area. And there's, a, I think, a pickup here too. Here's the two cars and there's the pickup. Yep. Like three car crash or some crap. Point of disagreement, that's what it's called. What's up, Dennis? Who are you disagreeing with, huh? More matches, I'm not taking them. I'm gonna go in the car for a second, though. So many matches. I'll take it. I really don't need that. Those gloves. Take the granola bar. The chips. Open this back up. Um, clothing. Put those in there. Uh, we'll put... It's 0.22 pounds. Ah, keep them. It's just not enough weight to, to leave. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh my god, another marine flare. Take it. I almost missed that. I wasn't even looking at the floor. Is there anything in the floor in here? No. How about the back? Ooh, what the fuck? Nothing back here. Fishing tackle. We can leave that. Don't need it. We'll open this trunk. Heavy hammer. No, another flare. All right. That's actually accurate. I used to have road flares, and they would be in the trunk. All right, I'm not taking the combat boots. I think we have plenty of cured leather. All right, let's, uh... Oh, I can't sprint again? Why? Any septic can stay. Soda and another flare. Six flares. Dennis got ketchup chips on him and rifle ammo. Uh, I think it's up here. Torn between here and there. But I feel like this uh, pathway here is leading us. So we're going to go this way. We're cold. I am so overweight. I'm not going to be able to climb with this much gear. Oh, I forgot about that. All right, we'll have to make some choices once we get to the uh, the building up here. I know I can cut probably a good chunk of the coal. We can cut the sticks. Uh, I could probably leave, leave a chunk of food and water or juice or soda, whatever the hell it is. I hear footsteps. I saw a deer over there. So I'm kind of hoping it's deer. But you never know. It could be a wolf. And I think I see a building over there. In the distance. Maybe. It was either that or one of those uh, fallen trees. With like uh, the roots exposed. The hunting blind. Wish I could move faster. I don't know why I can't sprint. Am I that much? I guess I'm that overweight, right? Taking like two more flare, three more flares. Um, chips. 
Yeah, there's the rope. There's the the building. All right, perfect. Cool, cool. I'm I'm pumped. Pumped to get to Timberwolf Mountain. We still got three days, twenty hours. Um, that's. I mean, I think the hard part now is just going to be navigating Timberwolf Mountain, getting where we need to go, and then it's just coming, getting backtracking. Which, now that I know the route, shouldn't be difficult. We can actually probably cut some weight and just basically run the whole way and just keep warm and, and run. Um, I'm going to try to, I guess we'll start a fire here and warm up. The coffee. All right, let's put this away. Let's, um... Now, let's put this away, too. Let's uh, go to tools. And we'll light this one. Very good. Let's go ahead and start a fire. Accelerant. And where's the torch? There it is. Start. 100%. Cool. And we'll just get... We're going to get rid of this anyways. Add some fuel. All right, coal. Perfect. Search the metal container. Tomato soup. And we'll put that down. 12 minutes. Revolver ammunition. All right. So, first things first. I don't need... What don't I need? Um, I think we can get rid of these. And these. We're just not going to go through that many matches. Uh, I think we can get... Mm, yeah, we can get rid of that. Um, those will keep... I'll drop these on the ground. Uh, this can stay. I'm going to break these down in a second. Uh, that can stay. Tools. Do we need all these tools? I think we get rid of a couple flares. We'll put the flare shells in here for now. I don't see why we need them. I'm trying to think what else we could get rid of. We can get rid of this. Uh, the marine flares. I kind of want to keep the flares just to make sure we have them. The knife, let's keep it. The sticks we can get rid of. Uh, how are we doing on this? All right. All right. Um, all right, let's drop this stuff off. So, first things first. Let's... Uh, Drop, I think, all but maybe two of these. Let's drop all the sticks. Okay. I think I'm going to take three charcoal. Okay, let's see what else we can drop. We have a couple teas. Oh, we can drop the torches, right? Yep. That's a couple pounds. We're still... 10, 13 pounds over. We can drop... We're gonna have to drop some food, I think. But we can drop that jerry can. Drop this one. These, that's like a pound almost. Drop that too, I guess. We don't need these. I can... Oh, I have that. We can drop that too. 73. Let's uh, drop these for now. Let's get these teas and stuff out of the inventory. And what else we got? These. And let's just eat this. Let's just eat them. Get this out of the inventory. Eat that too. It's probably a couple minutes, right? 
All right, how are we doing on the coffees? Gotta like carefully navigate these around. And done. Okay. Um, we can drink. I don't want to drink these sodas. Uh, food. We have so much soda. And by condition. I'm gonna eat that MRE. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, 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 and hot. All right. Uh, let's eat this MRE. That's a waste. Actually, 1,700, uh, 1,750 calories. I probably, oh, it didn't eat all of it. Okay. I think we can get rid of some of these, this food. We'll grab it on the way back. Uh, like these zap bars, we can just get rid of them. We're still over. What else can we drop? Ten minutes? Alright. And these are all good, right? That's good. Let's go ahead and scrap this. We'll harvest it. I'm good on time. Does that help at all? That didn't really change anything. Let's drop these. I don't think it changed anything. And if I take all these, is that going to give me my three pounds back? Mm, no, we're still under. So I'm going to go. I think we can make this climb. It looks like there's a rest right there. So we're going to go ahead and drink a coffee just to help us with the energy side of things. And I think we're good to go. Yeah, this doesn't seem difficult. I think we could rest right here if we need to. Yeah, we definitely could. We don't need to though, so let's just go. And there's probably a bear right in front of my face. Cool. And let's keep going. I'm gonna pick up sticks on the way since we just left all of our fuel down there. Uh, sands three coal uh, The only reason I kept the couple pieces of coal was just because this mountaineers hut is an outdoor uh, POI and so We will need to sleep with a fire going and the coal gets us warm faster It requires less uh, fuel to to get us warm and to get the building warm, but it's not gonna hold all night now sticks will do it and I kid and I don't have a hatchet so I can't really break down any logs but I'm sure they'll give us a couple logs too but either way um, we're gonna if we do we're probably gonna spend the night there 
as it's getting later. I maybe should push for the summit. We'll see. We'll get to the... We're going to get to the um, Mountaineer's Hut. I'm going to call it a part there. And uh, I'll reconvene and kind of think about whether or not I want to push in the dark. Oh, I thought my game just crashed. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to load in. Um. Anyways, I'll try to figure out if I'm going to... Um, if I want to push in the dark or or sleep, I might uh, wait to save the game. Or I might wait to sleep uh, through the full night until next part and kind of make that decision in between uh, recordings. Grab a couple more sticks. I don't need to grab every stick I see, but it's a couple. Let me just check what we get, how many we have already. I think we get to 20, we're probably good. And that's 17, so three more. We'll get to 20, and then I will, uh... I'll wait till we're closer to the hut to grab any more. It's 18. 19. 20. Cool. That should give us a couple hours. I should get an idea. Try to memorize like 20 sticks is X amount of time on the fire. Just checking around my surroundings. All right, so we're in Timberwolf Mountain. And now we need to figure out how to get to the top of it. Where to go? Oh, there's a plane wheels okay and like is that the summit where's the summit where do i gotta go i need a guide can i hire a guide i'm um, i guess i'm by myself right there's no guides i am the guide so there's some wheels landing gear okay door what's that metal all right uh is that that's another piece of plane it looks like what is this just a piece of metal all right oh yeah there's some more metal maybe parts of the wing kind of looks wingish especially sticking out like that Some more uh, wing over there. I'm guessing we want to go up there. Like, is that where the summit is? That looks like the tallest point. I keep going this way, though, because of the little broken tree there you're not familiar with the game that's kind of an indicator of a, the pathway and where you want to head so we're gonna head through the little arch over here there are some uh rabbits chilling what's up rabbits and uh yeah i'm gonna try to hustle a little bit because i think the uh hut's over here Yep, there it is. Cool. And depending on the difficulty we're on, I know there is a uh, hatchet that can spawn near the dock over here, so we'll check for that too, since that's one of the tools we're missing. Let's see. Mm, there's some wolves on the um, ice. Let's get uh, inside first. A wolf there and a deer there. Interesting. All right, we're going to head inside. There might be some gear in here too. I think there's a rope usually right there. Yeah. It's a mountaineer's hut. And maybe there's a hatchet in here even. Another flare. I'm good. Got so many flares. There's a hacksaw. 
Yes. I'm only looking for that in every series, but this one. All right, we got the uh, we got another flare shell. I don't need those. I don't need any more matches either. We'll take the leather. I'm gonna drop these sticks off. Drop all twenty. Cool. We'll drop off the coal too. That helps us with our weight. And uh, let's go check some more flare shells. Try to grab those before we leave. What is this? Ski jacket? I think we have one of these on. Uh, ragged ski jacket. What are we wearing? Simple parka. Yeah, I don't know if that's better. If that's better, let me know. But I'm really, honestly, feel like we're pretty warm. I'm really not too... Too concerned about it. That wolf's looking right at me. Are you walking away? Yeah, you walk away, buddy. Uh, okay. There isn't a uh, hatchet, I guess. Usually there's one down here, I think. Maybe it's on the dock itself. I don't really want to venture to. I really just don't want to dance with that wolf um, right now. So we'll check again uh, next part. But for now, I think that's going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed the episode, please drop a like. It helps me out very, very much. If you're interested in more Long Dark content, please consider subscribing. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.